Hello everybody. Good morning. Happy Sunday. It's a beautiful Sunday today. This is Hillbilly Wine 101 Sunday morning coffee edition. Uh, Wednesdays and Saturdays I do wine reviews and on Sunday I do coffee reviews. And so today I'm doing a Righteous Blends, Maud's Righteous Blends um, medium roast and the flavor here, they've got a French flag, plus a vanilla ice cream cone, plus a cup of coffee, equals a happy smiley face. So I'm going to guess the flavor here is going to be French vanilla. Hmm. I can say this, and the roast is medium, it's pretty cool. They have anywhere from like two or three up to ten. So this says medium roast, and it's number five. Um, this one's very fragrant, all right? Very fragrant when I... Uh, brewed it. I have all different styles to where I roast, I don't roast, where I uh, grind beads. I have already ground and I have the pods because everybody drinks their coffee different and this is a, a way that a lot of people do it for convenience. Um, you know, at work or before work, work it is a lot quicker. Um, you know, I like to use my French roast. On this you don't, you just put it in, you can see where it puts a little hole in there, you know how else this works. Um, it's got a big uh, <clears throat> recycle thing on there, so these are all recyclable. And different roasts, you know, beans are green and they taste grassy and they're a bit spongy. Uh, when they roast them, they get different levels of roast and it reduces the size of the bean because they're taking the moisture out. It also reduces the caffeine level, but not a lot. So that a lighter roast has less caffeine, a darker roast has less acid. Um, it'll have an oily uh, appearance on the top. And when it starts getting to darker roasts, because some of the oils are coming down and breaking out, and it completely changes the flavor. So you have to figure out what you like. Uh, you know, do you like the light uh, roast or all the way on up to the really dark roasts? Um, and everybody's different on that. <clears throat> a lot of times, I like my coffee with just heavy cream. If I don't have heavy cream, I'll drink it black. Um, that's that's all I, I, I use. But uh, if you use sugar, that's fine. Uh, well, it's fine whatever you use, right? It's your thing. Um, but I, I like the coffee to be able to taste uh, good black um, and get those flavors out of it. To me, cream enhances the mouth feel. All right? It thickens it up, makes it more like a um, creamy dessert type thing and more enjoyable to me. And it brings out the flavors, to me, the fat in there. And the cream adds a little bit of flavor. Cream has a little bit of taste. It's kind of a, you know, there's no sugar in it, but it's kind of a vanilla -y, ice cream-y type thing. It reminds me of, <clears throat> so I do like a splash of uh, uh, real cream in there. So this um, French roast, let's give it a shot. And I always mention to you, you're going to get sick of hearing it, but you know, this I'm still excited that I have a wine glass in the bottom for my wine reviews and a coffee glass on top, all right? You can't beat that, folks. This is it's amazing. All right, and I smell uh, vanilla, yes, and I smelt it actually when I uh, brewed it. Mm. Yeah, just strong vanilla, and I like vanilla, so, you know, if you like vanilla, always probably these are going to have the first strongest thing is coffee, and then the undertones of vanilla. This is probably the most flavor I've had so far to where the vanilla instead of being maybe 5% like a lot of 95% typical coffee uh, and 5% flavoring this is probably 15% flavor I mean, it's pretty strong vanilla so gotta do it gotta do it that's the way I like it put a little cream in there You know if you put your cream in first and then you brew the coffee, then you pour it in, you don't have to stir it, you don't have to, I'm not stirring it here, I'm just going to slosh it around a little bit. Mm. Oh, just the cream just tastes good. And it always enhances the flavor now and brings it out. This didn't bring out the vanilla. As a matter of fact, it probably dulled it down just a hair. Uh, on some other ones, the creams actually enhanced the flavor and brought it out on the nose, you know, when you smell and with the taste. On this, it probably dimmed it down the hair. Um, I still like it better. I like the cream. And this is also cream. It's the same thing. It's heavy cream. And it adds a little sweetness. Even though there's no sugar in here, um, you know, 
Yep, zero carbs and everything else. Um, less than one gram. So I guess there's the tiniest amount. Um, it's basically just fat. But it adds that just the sweetness. The cream just tastes sweeter to me. It takes out any bitterness that might be in the coffee. And uh, I think it was, yeah, I might have said this already, but the darker roasts actually are less bitter than the uh, lighter roasts. But it's all taste preference, obviously. And it's good to, like on the sample thing I got here with all these flavors, and it has come to all different roasting styles. Um, would be good to have unflavored, and I'm going to look for it, from the very lightest roast up to the darkest and do a taste test. So look forward to that. Alright, i got to put that together. i got to try and find that. Of course, the whipped cream makes it better, of course. This is a company out of um, San Diego, California. And uh, I just uh, bought a lot of samples for us to try. And uh, so far, if you like vanilla, a lot of coffees um, are hit and miss. A lot of times they won't hit what they say, uh, which is hard to have one strawberry cheesecake. Now you know you're not getting cheese. You're not getting the cheese. That would be probably not good, even though I love cheesecake. It, but it was good because it tasted like strawberry cake or strawberry shortcake. Nothing with the cheese. Uh, so if you were looking for the cheese, you'd have been pissed off. But I was just, I, I liked it overall. Uh, that it was a, a pleasant tasting coffee, but not like cheesecake. <clears throat> um, or not like strawberry cheesecake. And so a lot of these aren't going to be like they say. Um, and some of you won't be able to taste it all. I've had bourbon, so strong coffee that I couldn't taste the bourbon. I've had bourbon coffee where I could. I had a wine one where I could taste the wine. I had a wine one where I couldn't taste any wine. So, hit and miss. And I mean, I couldn't taste anything in, the, in, in some of those. Some of them I taste, it tastes different. It might not be as good. It might be better than a regular cup. Um, but it might not hit the mark. Usually it generally hits, um, you know, somewhere in the area. This here, vanilla. It tastes like vanilla. I don't think that was hard to do. But it does taste like it, and it's got a pretty good vanilla taste. So, if you like vanilla, if you like vanilla, all right, it's a medium roast, and you think you might want to drink that and <clears throat> for a little bit. Wherever you drink your coffee, we get your pods before work on the week. Uh, usually on the weekdays, to, uh, I'll do a, uh, you know, I ground my beans and make a nice French roast and all that. But uh, during the week or at work, uh, very convenient, very convenient. So. From Hillbilly Wine 101, Sunday morning coffee edition, everybody. Enjoy your weekend.